So, you're wanting to know how to one-shot every single keystone behemoth in the game? Well, let's talk about that. It's actually a lot easier than you probably think. Except for one problem. Um, we'll get to that when we get there. There's one behemoth that's a little more complicated than the other ones, but the rest of them are pretty straightforward. The main working parts here are the Earth Cell and... Uh, oh, I guess there's actually three working parts. Earth Cell, Artificer Omni Cell, and Defiant Stone Legendary Lantern Amp. With Scar and Lantern, I guess you do need that for Defiant Stone. There are two builds. I'm going to show you the first one, though, because this one you can actually... This one's the main one you can use. Although the other one is better, in my opinion. It does more damage, I think. Until you get to find stone, then this one just has ridiculous damage output. So here it is. A uh, very different build, uh, as we are doing something very different. So we have the Crow Cannons. Actually, let's go over Perk Summary first. So we got plus six catalyst, cunning, earth, galvanized, tough, plus three ages, and plus three conservation. Although cunning and galvanized being maxed out, I found out later, kind of pointless just because the actual shield explosion from earth can never crit. At least I've never seen it crit once. So what is earth? At plus six, hitting a behemoth with a weapon attack while shields are over 200 will detonate all your shields, depleting them and dealing damage equal to 400% of the value of the removed shield. After detonating your shield to gain a 100 health shield. But that is the main working part here. So that said, let's go over what is actually here. So crowd cannons with catalyst. You can switch this cutting out actually probably for a another conservation. In fact, I'm going to do that real quick if I can figure out my alphabet. I'm not very smart. There we go. We got Marksman Chamber on. Uh, you can use just about whatever for this. It's just a personal preference. Captain's Grip. Then Lightweight Frame. Why Lightweight Frame? Isn't it like the worst mod for repeaters? No, but it's close. But the reason for that is actually because we have Conservation. Losing bonus movement speed grants 100 shields for every 5% movement speed lost. This effect cannot happen more than once every 2 seconds. And what does Lightweight Frame do? Gain 20% increased move speed when at 6 or less ammo. So if you just dump your whole entire magazine of your repeaters into a behemoth and reload, you will get conservation to trigger every single time. On top of that, let me do some quick math here. I just got out of a job interview, so this might take actually a second. Okay, so 20%. So you're getting 400 shields every time you reload from, like, one bullet. Pretty good. It's pretty good for that shield game. Then we have Artificer. I'll explain why that's important here in a little bit. We got Scar and Lantern with Catalyst on. Duh. We got Shroud Helmet with Earth. Nasher with Conservation. Frost Wolf with Aegis. And then we have Nasher with Earth. This is not exactly a very optimized build, if you can't tell. This is just kind of what I used to start. This was the first build I made, just kind of toying around with the Earth thing, and then I realized, oh shit, this actually kind of works. And the other build is actually right here, but you don't get to see that yet. Pretty important, though, you do run Blitz, Frenzy, and Aether Drive Tonics. So, with the build shown... We're now going to go ahead and go to a training ground. Actually, no. Since I love you guys, I'm going to go try to get the fight stone <laughs> in an escalation. As if I hadn't been doing this for the past like week and a half or two weeks. Dear God, help me. So I will be right back whenever we get the fight stone, and I will kind of show you how this build works. Hi, quick little update. I actually just swapped the helmet for Frost Wolf, and you can put the Earth Cell in there, and that actually maxes out your Aegis, so we actually get more shields. Uh, so, yippee. Anyway, back to going to an escalation. Man, I love when things happen, like, immediately. This is my first run. I already have to find stone. So, we're going to go ahead and pick that up, and I'm going to kind of give you a little demonstration of kind of how to use this build. I will say, um, using it before you are at the... Um, boss fight it's kind of risky because keep in mind it detonates all your shields and defiant stone takes you to one health so you're not gonna really have any health once your shields detonate you're gonna be pretty squishy 
but there is a rockfall scar in here and that is a problem to me so i'm going to build shields this is literally how you build and keep your shields i kid you not you just stand here and just bam your lantern make sure your artificer stays active on the ground and rinse repeat until you have a desirable amount of shields Shrike, do you mind? So, I don't really know what amount of shields you need to actually one-shot the normal behemoths. I'm going to guess around the 30,000 range, probably, maybe 40,000, but we're only going to go up to about 25 to 30,000, just so you can kind of see what happens, and so we're not standing here all day long. Shrike, I swear to God, you are making me mad. So, we're going to pop our lantern like once or twice more and hopefully go end this Skarn's career. Because I absolutely despise Skarn. If you play Gauntlet, you know why. So, as you can see, I put down Artificer, though, and I'm not gaining any shields anymore. That's okay, because I'm st I still keep my shields. Alright, so we have 29,000. Yeah, 88k, took him to half health. But now I'm extremely squishy, so you have to play very safe after you pop your lantern. Which can be an issue, so just kind of keep that in mind. I didn't realize you were actually attacking, sir. But... You get your shields back pretty quick, and... You also have Aegis up, which really helps. You kind of keep Aegis up almost at all times. Especially once you get to fight stone. So it's really not that bad. Now, let's go one-shot Urska. Basically what I did back there, it's no different, but I figure I might as well show you a one-shotting, or one-shotting a keystone here and now. I just feel like that'd be a better call, you know? So sit tight, I'll be back once we have enough shields built up and we are ready to go one-shot this silly little cat. Okay, I've been sitting here for a few minutes and we got, <clears throat> we're about to have about 70 something thousand shields. Oh, yeah, see, 71,000 shields. So, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna run on in here. And prepare to pop Skarn. There we go. And, of course, I've only got one bullet in the chamber. And we just pop Urska. See how easy it really is? It's really not that hard to do. The only hard part's really getting Defiant Stone. But there is one behemoth that's actually a lot harder to one-shot. Who might that be? Well, that behemoth would be Thrax. So, if you've forgotten, or don't remember, or whatever, for Thrax, every time you go into his arena to go fight him, you actually have to go through a uh, non-optional, mandatory, stupid animation. D don't get me wrong, it looks great. And you cannot pop Artificer in there. You can't really do much in the way of keeping your shields there. So actually, in my first attempt at doing it, I lost my shields when I got to his arena, therefore completely killing the run. So my workaround to this was actually in front of me the whole time. It was actually in the build I used in that previous clip as well. It's Cascade. Cascade is very important in this build that I am now showing on screen. I would be doing my usual thing where I'm actually going over the build as I uh, record the audio, but for some reason Dauntless does not like my microphone tonight. So rather than giving you really staticky audio, I figure we might as well just do it this way. Main just fit is, though, that aside from the build being different, which link is below for both builds, I do find this one to be stronger. But for Thrax, you kind of just want to try in time. Taking up a green orb right as you jump into that portal. Halfway through the portal, your green orb should be about to run out. Pop your Scar and Lantern. That way, whenever you hit the ground, just put down your Artificer on the ground immediately and stand in it, that'll secure that you keep your shields for Thrax. And as for the numeral for uh, how many shields you probably need for this, 
I would say 70,000 is probably a safe bet for one-shotting every single keystone. I could be wrong. Play around with it, because I, I really haven't played around with it too much. But aside from that, I think that's all for me today. Link to join my Discord server is down below if you'd like to. Also, I'm going to try to post a little more. I don't know. We're, we're going to try. But it's Friday night. I'm going to do Friday night things. So as always, much love and take care.